Hey guys, it is Sunday, September 9th. <laughs> I'm going to try to be a little bit better with my blogging um, this week, but I'm not, I'm not too sure because I kind of like, I don't mind, you know, sharing, you know, different things, but if my, my life is boring and, you know, just a regular week, nah. But anyways, today is Sunday and I am heading out very, very soon to, oh, sorry, I have my, my Apple earbuds in, but I've been doing some Insta stories and I use my phone for that, so these earbuds really make the volume a little bit better. But anyways, I digress. So I'm heading out to go down to Salem to, um, to my mom's house. I'm going to meet my sister and my mom in Salem, and we're going to go to the Burlington Mall in Massachusetts. It's a little bit of a larger mall than we have here in New Hampshire, and you know, we have a, a big family wedding coming up. I've mentioned it a couple of times, and I have a couple of tops, but I'm not in love with them. So if I can find something that says, yes, this is it, I'm going to buy it and I'll return the others. So, but I have two, you know, two dressier events, the rehearsal dinner the night before, and then of course the wedding. So I have two tops and then I have a top that I had before that I haven't worn in a number of years to any family event so I could also wear that if I if I want it fits good it's blue my niece's colors are blue so it would blend in but so that's the scoop I'm going to drink my breakfast drink I'm a little late this morning because I've been editing and I've been trying to um trying to get it. I haven't I posted a video early this morning Sunday I haven't even looked at the comments I've just been editing so and answering work emails <laughs> So, I'm going to drink my breakfast drink, take my vitamins, and head out the door in a little bit. And maybe I'll show you a little bit of my mom and sis when we get down there in Burlington. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what ends up in the vlog. Who knows? I like that. Here, <laughs> mom is being a brat in the back already, and we haven't even started our shopping. But here's Heidi, my sister, and mom in the back, and we're heading to Hi. Burlington Mall. We're going Burlington shopping. Yes. Yep. yep, shopping. Spending we, all the moolah. Shopping till we drop. <laughs> <laughs> shopping till we drop, that's a good thing. Yeah. And the Patriots are playing, so go Patriots. Go Pats. Go Pats. I told Papa to make sure to watch it when on the TV. At one o'clock? Yes. yes. He'll Channel, watch it. Channel 4. And Jay will text us highlights. Mm. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys. So I just wanted to jump on really quick because I'm trying to get ready. It's early in the morning. I want to get ready for work. I, I didn't film anything more with my mom and sis, but we had a great afternoon. We did go down to Burlington, Mass. That Macy's was huge compared to the one I have up in Salem. I, I didn't find anything. And then we went into Nordstrom's, which surprisingly, surprisingly, because I've only probably been in a Nordstrom store maybe two or three times in my life. So I went into Nordstrom's and I wasn't really thinking that I was going to find anything. I wasn't like, oh, you know, it was no big deal. And surprisingly, I found this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dress. I fell in love with it immediately. And I wasn't thinking of a dress. It was like sort of, um, you know, almost a little like tea length, you know, like above your ankles. But it was like uh, sort of almost like a, a sundress. It was very flowing. It had like uh, flowers on it and had like a... Uh, a mesh jacket with long sleeves that you could sort of see through. It was absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. I loved how it fit. I loved how it flowed. Then I looked at the price tag. <laughs> it was like, I was not going to pay that kind of money for that dress. But, oh my gosh, did I love it. So, um, I walked away with nothing. And, um... Went to Burlington. I mean, went to Salem, New Hampshire, Macy's. And they have that 30... They had that 30% off sale that you could, it doesn't start till next weekend, but you could actually reserve or pre-buy and get the 30% off and then pick it up. So I found a pair of earrings and I like the earrings a lot. So I'm going to pick those up next weekend. I'm just going to wear the two tops I have. You know, I really, I think, I think I'm not going to be shopping. The only thing I need to really think about is shoes because we're taking a gondola, gondola, gondola ride to the top of the mountain. And so if I wear like really dress dress shoes, I'm worried because it's going to be dirt up there. The wedding is on top of the mountain. It's going to be beautiful. The vistas are going to be beautiful. But I am worried about walking around in really super dressy shoes. So I don't know what I'm going to do about my shoes yet. Yeah, I'm just going to wear those two tops and be done with it at this point in time.
I am actually testing out my new camera. This is my vlogging camera. This, I mean, I happen to like these, these types of out and about videos. That's just more me. This camera is basically small enough to fit in my purse and it has a mic. I'm hoping that the mic is actually doing a halfway decent job of actually making it so you can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Which may or may not be happening and I won't be able to tell until I play this back, but look at the wave action. So hey guys, I did take that class on Tuesday night at Sephora and it was the, I think I had mentioned it was the contour and highlight class and I was so looking forward to it and I and I thought that there was a pretty well a, a full house because when I signed up they, you know, they had said that I just got in or whatever, you know, and to be early, etc. So I was really super excited. When I got there, the, yeah, I don't, and it's really frustrating because I think sometimes when, when people sign up for things or commit to things and it doesn't actually, you know, if they have no skin in the game, they don't, that, they don't have to pay. Sometimes they can just blow it off. But they had like three tables set up and I could see it was going to be a small class. Um, I think there was like tables set up for 12 in total. So they had three tables of four set up and they had two ladies that were going to teach us. Uh, and so I thought, oh, you know, that's pretty cool. Two ladies, 12 people. You know, I was just hoping for a little bit of help, a little bit of, you know, sort of like custom instruction as much as possible, even though I knew it'd be one of, you know, a full class. Of course, one of the first things I noticed is that the other two ladies that had arrived at the same time with me were significantly younger than me. And the instructors or the beauty experts or makeup experts that were uh, conducting the workshop were significantly younger than me and I thought oh man you know I kind of expected that I mean you know really figuring everyone would be a lot younger so unfortunately for Sephora and fortunately for me and for the other two ladies in class only three of us showed up so we had a super, super customized, almost two hours because they didn't rush us at all. I think we were scheduled from six to 7.30. I went a little longer only because of the questions I had. So it was like totally awesome. I had wanted to do the smoky eye one. That was at like in the afternoon at four o'clock so I couldn't do that. But so I'm gonna sign up in October. They're gonna be revamping the whole class type thing. Um, I don't know in what way, but I sure hope that they do the smoky eyes. I, I really want to learn how to do a decent smoky eye. And I was hoping I'd learn that before the wedding, but that isn't going to happen. Contour, you know, I don't really have any contour. I do have a cream contour, but I have bronzers. So yes, I could use the bronzer and I do have like bronzer on today, but I need to, and I, and I have some contours in some of my old boxy charm boxes of stuff I have to dig through and see what I can use. But the interesting thing is that, you know, they started cleansing. We did, we did like a triple cleanse. The cleansing was really great. They talked a lot about applying a toner. And they talked a lot about essences, and I don't really use essences. I never really have. So they talked about the importance of that essence, where in the order everything goes. And then they, those of us that wanted to have some serums, we put some serums on. So I used a couple of different serums. I loved it. And then we did a little bit of a face oil. Then we did some cream. And then we were ready for our artistic abilities to transform our faces. They actually made us decide what face shape we had. I always thought I had a heart-shaped face. You know, I have like widow's peak, the, the fat cheeks, more of a narrow chin. And they said, no, my face was oval shaped. So I was really surprised at that. But in either case, you know, once we had a primer on, which I very rarely used, although I have several that I've been playing with now, and also some that have been gifted me from Octoly that I've been using last couple of months, but I don't use it consistently. So we started with a primer and then foundation, and I'm gonna insert the picture. So there's a couple of different foundations they used on me. I couldn't film, and I understand that. 
and uh, and then he didn't take any of my pictures but after my foundation was on we went to a contour and the way they explained it is like you make an L from the corner of your I think sort of like an L on your cheek and the contour would go up and then curve now I've seen many videos on YouTube talking about that same concept and I think that's really cool but until you're actually sitting there and someone is doing it on you and making you do one it's kind of really hard for me because I never did all that I'm 64 I never went through those whole routines of makeup so you know we did the contour made sure that we follow it along and we went in the right spot both sides up and then after we, you know, kind of blended that in, we did a little bit of a highlight. Then we went, I mean, the thing with the bronzer going here, I never did. Do your, do, not your bronzer, your contour under your chin, up and around, and then behind. I've never done that. So that was like all new to me. And I was like, yeah. So then slightly bronzing your face just to give you that color, that definition in the sense of like maybe more of a sun-kissed look. I do use bronzers. I have several. One of the ones that I've used for a long time is the um, It Cosmetics, and uh, this is the Ombre Radiance. I also have the Becca Maui Lights, or is it Nights, that I got, and I love that one a lot. It's dark. So I have a lot of bronzers that I use. I never really used them the way they did it. So we did a lot of tapping off our brushes, dusting our faces, and then we did blush, and they picked a more of a peachy type of a, a blush for me and just put it on the balls of your cheek very very lightly because now you've got contour on you've got bronzer on and now you've got the blush on and it was really cool so I personally learned a lot you guys probably are all pros at this but I personally learned a ton by doing that and then once we were all done that you know they told me stay away from powder my skin if, if I did the setting powder, it was going to really go. So um, I told him how I was doing, and I think it was Natalie, the beauty diva, that had said use um, a little bit of the set, a powder and a wet sponge and kind of tap it on, and that didn't seem so bad. But more importantly, they, they had me do a finishing mist spray. And I've really, I mean, I have a couple of bottles of it, but I really haven't used a whole lot of it. So they suggested that, and... It was, an, it was time well spent for me because I did learn stuff that, you know, I probably should have. And I know I'm shining because I'm getting hot because of the light in the bathroom. Yeah, my skin is, I think the light makes it shinier. It's not, I'm not really looking, I don't think I don't really look like this grease ball, but I think the light makes it shinier. I'm going to shut the light off just so you can see the difference. This is without the light. I think sometimes when people don't use a light and they're trying to film, they look it looks more grainy, it looks more dark. I love my ring light. It's the only way I could really film in the bathroom during the day like this. So yeah, I don't even know why I still wanted to. Anyways, oh, it's because I was thinking I was all an oil slick. So other than the class, that was like super, super awesome. And I'm filming this uh, currently right now with my new camera this is my vlogging camera i had done a clip on the beach that i inserted earlier camera i don't know how i'm gonna like it inside but i set it on the tripod and i'm gonna give it a, a try and see how it works as opposed to my my bigger camera one of the things though that was gifted to me by unwash via the octoly network i'm gonna hold this up this is like amazing concept i'm gonna put my glasses on so <clears throat> Unwash Bio Cleansing Conditioner. So what this says, it's a moisturizing non-strip cleanser, locks in natural oils and colors, no sulfate, no, you know, harsh detergents or parabens, etc. What you do is you apply this to wet hair. So I could wet my hair in the morning, like I don't want to wash it. It's, it may be another version of a dry shampoo. I don't know. We're going to see. I haven't used it yet, but it is like, I think this will be a super, super, if it does a good job, a, a super, super alternative for me, especially when I go camping. But anyway, so you wet your hair and then you put this on. I'm going to show you. Whoops. It has a really, it has a, it has a very mild, nice smell. I really like it. So you put it on and you massage it into your scalp area. 
and you let it sit so you you know you'll be doing in your scalp and you let it sit I think for like maybe five minutes and then you rinse it out and it's supposed to save on drying time it's not supposed to strip your natural oils that are really good for your hair so bio cleansing conditioner all in one package gifted to me by unwash via the octoly network and I'm really looking forward to trying this. The other thing that was actually suggested by one of you guys, one of my subscribers, is this exfoliate Nip and Fab Glycolic Scrub. So many of you know that when I get up in the morning, I, I kind of gently wash my face. And normally I put on, this is like every morning, I put on the Studio 35. The Studio 35, this is the Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. I put this on and sometimes I will leave it on my face for like maybe 45 minutes, an hour, all depends on where I am in my morning routine, what's happening, and then I wash it off. And sometimes when I'm rubbing it off, or even with my hands, I get like a pilling. I can see some of the skin. But I usually take it off with a very mild exfoliation, either one of my gloves or, you know, just a rougher face cloth. But I will remove it after about 45 minutes, maybe even an hour. And I think it takes off a lot of the dead skin from my Retin-A the night before. So I'm going to give this a try. Not on the same day that I'm going to be doing this. But this was recommended. I picked it up via Amazon. Nip Fab Exfoliate, Exfoliate Glycolic Scrub Fix. So thank you so much for the recommendation. I'll let you guys know how I like it. But I'm really looking forward to this. Very much so. And when, the other thing I did the other day is I ended up trying on the outfits that I'm going to wear for the wedding. And Jay thought they looked great on me. I just have to decide on the rehearsal. I have like a, a, a top and I was going to wear, you know, I have two pairs. I have like more of a wider angle dress dress pants and more of a narrow, not skinny by any chance, but more of a straighter uh, look dress pants so I'm I'm be torn between the two dress pants so I don't know which ones I'm gonna wear and then for the wedding I have a very black flowy top a little bit of beads a beads, little, little bit of rhinestones it has like a wider sleeve and I'm wearing that with a t-length black skirt kind of a layered black skirt so that's what I'm gonna wear for the wedding and I still I still I'm still unsure about shoes I really am but it today is actually Sunday it is the 16th I am heading to the mall in a little bit because I want to pick up the earrings that I put on layaway not layaway but that I put on pre-bought last week because of the 30% off so I want to pick those up today and get that done but that's the scoop guys so thanks so much for watching the vlogging a little bit of this a little bit of that sort of uneventful but the Sephora class was awesome and my uh, walking and going along the beach with the new camera was awesome as well so we'll see how this does when I, um, you know, put it in the in the laptop and load it up and hopefully it's not losing its focus because I always worry about the auto tracking and the focus. But it seems to be, from what I'm looking at, it seems to be clicking. <laughs> seems to be clicking. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much. Please be sure to leave me a comment, thumbs up the video. I truly appreciate your support and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.